Din Djarin, also known as the Mandalorian, or simply, Mando, was a human male Mandalorian warrior during the era of the New Republic. With his Mandalorian armor, IB-94 blaster pistol, Amban sniper rifle, and distinctive Beskar helmet, Jaren was both well-equipped and enigmatic a stranger whose past was shrouded in mystery to others. He hailed from AQ Vetina and became orphaned during the end of the Galactic Republic, and was raised as a foundling by the Children of the Watch, an orthodox cult that had broken off from mainstream Mandalorian society. Jaren was unaware of this and believed that all Mandalorians followed the Children of the Watch's beliefs. He was trained to become a Mandalorian warrior and eventually joined the tribe, which operated in a secret covet on Navarro. Jaren became battle-hardened, a man of few words, and a formidable hunter in an increasingly dangerous galaxy. After the fall of the Galactic Empire, Jaren made a reputation for himself as a member of the Bounty Hunters Guild, collecting bounties as he traveled across the galaxy's outer rim territories far from the authority of the New Republic in his personal Street 70 assault ship, the Razor Crest. Around 9 Abbey, Jaren was hired on Navarro by a client of an Imperial Remnant faction, who offered a substantial reward for the acquisition of an asset located on the world ARVALA-7. During his mission on ARVALA-7, he met an Ugnaught named Kuil, who guided him to the location of the asset, and encountered a bounty hunter droid, IG-11. Upon seeing the asset itself, Jaren and IG-11 discovered that it was, in fact, a Force-sensitive child. Unbeknownst to Jaren, the child was a former Jedi youngling named Grogu, and belonged to the same species as Jedi Grandmaster Yoda. Tasked with bringing Grogu in alive, Jaren shot IG-11 in the head, saving the infant and taking him into his custody. Discovering Grogu's Force sensitivity during his time on ARVALA-7, Jaren took Grogu back to the client and collected his reward. However, the Mandalorian warrior had already begun to form a bond with the infant. Feeling remorseful for subjecting Grogu to a cruel fate, Jaren entered the facility where Grogu was kept and rescued him from the Imperials stationed there, and later fended off guild hunters with the help of the Mandalorian tribe. The two went on to embark on various adventures around the galaxy as they formed a close bond, including an encounter with former rebel shock trooper Carisanthia June, a job on Tatooine, and a run-in with a group of mercenaries. Jaren was later contacted by the guild's agent, Grief Karga, who wished to make amends for his actions during Grigu's rescue. The guild agent offered to work with the Mandalorian to drive away the Imperials, who took control over Navarro City, in exchange for dropping the bounty on the child. Jaren then gathered his allies June, Kuil, and a reprogrammed IG-11 and met with Karga on Navarro. Jaren and his allies entered the city and fought the Imperials led by Moff Gideon, later retreating to the tribe's covert after facing heavy opposition. The Mandalorian, known as the Armorer, who had remained in the hideout after the covert's attempted relocation, tasked Jaren with returning Grogu to his people and declared the creation of his clan. After dealing with Gideon and his remaining Imperials, Jaren departed the planet with the infant and began his search for Grogu's people. As Jaren and Grogu wandered the galaxy, they went on many missions together, such as a run-in with the Marshal of Mos Pelgo, Cobb Vanth, a meeting with another group of Mandalorians, and another mission with Kara June and Grief Karga on Navarro. Eventually, the pair traveled to Corvus, where they encountered a former Jedi named Ahsoka Tano, who was able to communicate with Grogu through the Force, revealing the child's name and history to the Mandalorian. After Jaren assisted Tano with liberating the city of Caladan from an Imperial magistrate named Morgan Ellsbeth, Tano gifted Ellsbeth's Beskar spear to Jaren and directed him to Tython, a planet where Grogu could reach out to any other Jedi willing to train him. On Tython, as Grogu was attempting to reach a Jedi, Jaren met Boba Fett, the son of another Mandalorian, who wanted his armor back in exchange for not harming the child. However, before Jaren could give the armor to Fett, Gideon's Imperial Remnant attacked and captured Grogu. After receiving his armor, Fett agreed to help Jaren rescue Grogu, and, with the help of Kara June, Miggs Mayfield, and Fennec Shand, located Gideon's light cruiser. 
Jaren, alongside the Night Owls, June, and Shand, stormed the cruiser and found the child. In the process, though, Jaren unintentionally became a potential heir to the title of Mandalore after defeating Gideon in combat and claiming the Darksaber. As the team attempted to escape, they were cornered by a platoon of dark troopers before being rescued by Luke Skywalker, the Jedi that Grogu had reached out to. When Skywalker finally destroyed the dark troopers, he left the ship with Grogu, but not before Jaren said his goodbyes to the youngling and promised they would see each other again. <laughs>